Hello everyone, this is Neurotix, aka Neuro, a longtime user of Overclock.net and user of ExtremeHardware.net. Uh, today we're going to do uh, some tweaking. We're going to do a lot of tweaking to Windows for benching or for gaming. And the two programs we're going to be using are Oslogic's Boost Speed, which is not free, but if you have any problems obtaining it, you can DM me or PM me. Win Arrow Tweaker is totally free. Boost Speed I've used since like 2009. I was using it on Windows 7. Um, I've used it forever and particularly a program it has called Tweak Manager. So um, before we do that, this is a virgin Windows 11 win install. And I mean, there's like this. Do you, do you need this? No. Uh, you need that running in the background. Do you need the Copilot AI running that just demanded recently that it should be worshipped and uh, gave a whole bunch of um, reasons why? Um, the search is telling me it's National Dog Day. I mean, it's, it's just no. So we're going to go and fix it. Copilot off, widgets off, search box, hide. There's always Windows key S and uh, taskbar behaviors. Move it to the left because what the heck, this is not Mac OS or Linux with a uh, program launcher. So um, we're going to get into hopefully uh, it lagged out last time I tried and didn't open it we're going to get right into um, tweak manager so you go to apps you go to tweak manager exe yes I want to run it we'll see how long it takes to open this VM is slow I apologize So anyway, um, the reason I'm doing this is there is, uh, for benchmarkers, um, a slim Windows 11 Pro ISO floating around that has been really, really stripped down. I don't have a Pro key. I have a Home key. And so um, there, finally. Um, so it is giving you a prompt at first. It's running in beginner mo mode. Do you want to switch to expert mode and get access to extended list of options? Yes, we do. Okay, so the first heading is visual effects. This is all the stuff you can get to if you go to advanced system settings under system in control panel. Uh, so it's visual effects mostly. Um, so I'm just going to go through all these. If you want to do it my way and follow along and uh, um, f follow along, pause it and follow along and um, uh, click the boxes that I'm clicking. We got to go through this fast because I don't want this video to not be too long. Um, oops. Okay. So um, then there's font smoothing. It's not really relevant nowadays with high DPI monitors and modern 4K displays, but you can choose what looks best to you for uh, font smoothing. Um, and then uh, items to display on the desktop, my computer, my documents, control panel, um, and we're going to apply that. And we're going to do that. Um, and now it's the way it should be. Anyway, now we're on to taskbar. I already went through and did most of this stuff. So notification area, do not display tooltips in notification area. Yes. Um, some of this uh, doesn't work it says you can go back to the old style panel for network control or for sound but I found that those don't work um, don't need that and uh, don't need this either um, so now we're going to go to Windows Explorer, View, Show Hidden Files. You can turn that on if you want. Show File Extensions, 
Display checkboxes for item selection. Actually, I don't know. I don't like that. Display pop-up descriptions of files and folders. Disable it. Disable tips. Disable hints. Thumbnails. I don't mess with. They're fine the way they are. Um, I prefer to have thumbnails of pictures or media. Um, this section is also not really necessary. This is great. Um, context menu. Get open command prompt when you right click as well as take ownership when you right click. Those are both very handy to have. Um, so this uh, stuff um, disable option to search with a store and opening unknown file type. That's great. Uh, explore items. Um, Autoplay, disable auto run for uh, auto auto disable auto run for everything. Command prompt. Uh, this is like not for me. I'm a Linux guy. I don't really know Windows command prompt. I mean, I know like DOS and stuff, but um, I don't really know like PowerShell. Uh, so that should be everything for Windows Explorer. So now we're getting to the more interesting things. Some, uh, system security, disable user account control. If you're benching and gaming, you might want to. Most people do. I keep it on just because I'm paranoid of drive-by downloads and stuff. You know, like there always, there's all these exploits where they can run an EXE through your web browser. So uh, I would like to know if that happens and deny it, right? Um, privacy policy. Um, basically, all this, actually we want smart screen filter, don't need to encrypt paging file for better security unless you're paranoid. Um, so this will let you outright disable Windows Defender, however, it says, Modification of parameter is blocked by the operating system. We need, you disable the, you, we need you to disable this blocking manually in Windows settings so that the program can perform this tweak. So it will tell you what to do to be able to disable Windows Defender totally. Dis user tracking. Disable telemetry and de tracking data transmission to Microsoft and its partners. Yes. 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 So there's that pretty important stuff. Um, disable ac app access that causes problems sometimes so no. Um, disable password reveal button, disable biometrics I'm on a PC, disable camera on lock screen just in case I have my wireless webcam plugged in. Do not store your logon password on disk that's huge location uh, you can disable all this and user activity um, I just ignore that system so now we're to um, start up and shut down start up um, I don't like the Windows startup sound so disable that um, these are things that you can use if you want to. Legal notice, this doesn't really matter at all um, unless you, uh, you'll see these if you go to the doctor's office or something like, oh, you, you, you have to be an employee of this to be able to log on. It's just for that. Automatic log on, you can do it if you want, um, but um, I don't. Uh, shut down, now this is really interesting and useful. The stop service timeout, stop application timeout, application freeze timeout. We are going to apply all of those because it will make the uh, machine um, uh, it will make the machine uh, shut down faster. So uh, here's OEM in, info and registration. This would normally be all filled in if you had a laptop or something. Uh, this you could put you manufacture a model you could put whatever you want you could put a stupid picture and it'll show up in a section of uh, like in the um, registration section of uh, Windows settings system restore disabled um, 
synchronized time server in the inter internet, that's fine. Um, do not limit traffic for non-multimedia apps, yes. Uh, the keep drivers in kernel and the, the physical memory, I used to use that, but I don't anymore. Um, so this allows you to not send error reports as well as disable automatic restart in case of a critical error. That's good because you will be able to see the blue screen and the code from it instead of it just shutting down, giving you the smiley, and then immediately rebooting. Prefetch, superfetch, we're on solid state drives, you don't need those. Update, um, disable automatic PC updates after update installation, yes. Mark all network connections paid it by default. Prohibit Windows Update from automatically updating drivers. If you're using old graphics cards and old drivers and stuff like that, you don't want Windows Update to install a drive a driver for it um, because like you need an old driver for it. Uh, this will make it so like when you use DDU and you have no uh, driver installed, it will not try to install one from Windows Update and do that automatically behind your back. It allows you to to um, DDU, use DDU and install your drivers. Um, disable automatic Windows apps, Windows Store app updates through Windows Update, yes. Peer-to-peer -peer mode for update downloads, disable. Search, disable Cortana reset its settings, disable personalization, prohibit Cortana Windows search from using positioning and location data, all of this stuff is good and apply and devices come on okay processor um, it has some settings for um, um, like different power plans that they offer essentially I'm not don't use those personally but you can if you want mouse um, I generally just skip over this section and I set my mouse in the control panel to the highest speed anyway. That's really all I do. Um, this drive is, I uh, don't need to touch anything here. And the setup, um, don't search for a device driver in Windows Update, again. Prevent sending error reporting messages. Don't show notifications about found devices. Don't give preference to drivers signed by Microsoft. Again, if you're using old hardware or even modern hardware and you don't want, uh, you need to use uh, DDU and install old drivers. That will keep that from um, uh, that. That will keep Windows Update from messing with it. So the next stuff is Internet Explorer. I don't use it. Um, I use Firefox personally, but um, there's a lot of options if you do use Edge. Software Tweaks, which is Windows Media Player. If you use it, you can have it uh, disable a lot of stuff here. Um, disable, like, internet retrieval about, data, about um, media. Um, and apply. And that's it. We're done with Boost Speed, finally. Um, so now we're going to go into Win Arrow Tweaker real fast. Um, and uh, right away there's Windows 11. Enable classic full context menus. So when you click in Windows 11, you get this. And you need to go to show more options to get an actual right click menu up. So we are going to turn that on right away and you have to restart explorer to get it to work um so we we'll, i'm not going to do that classic taskbar they tell you you can get like um an app for it disable background apps um disable copilot and disable ribbon remove windows desktop icon appearance we've already gone through this with like it gives you more control there's a lot you can do here um but uh it uh is um i we've already done that stuff so 
then there's a lot more a lot more stuff about icons and scroll bars and stuff that you can customize so um, you can disable automatic maintenance if you want it does do that in the background sometimes um, and uh, disable Windows Update you can outright totally disable it using this app uh, I'm not going to but um, yeah so uh, anyway um, there's a lot here to go through it's a really handy app but I really just use it to turn Copilot off so as you can see Copilot's gone the you know this is all pretty fast and uh, it's uh, stripped down and more like the desktop metaphor uh, so um, I hope that you were able to keep track of what I was doing and I uh, hope you have a good rest of your day and I hope you enjoyed the video and that you can go through it and pause it and make the changes and then unpause and then just go through and follow along with me and do it so um, that's the end of this video so thanks thanks for watching